In today's video, I'm going to Walmart to search for the new Rarity Collection 2 in stores. I hear the prices are pretty high. All right, I got him. It's Memorial Day, so it's insane outside. Like, there's people everywhere. And in there, there's, I mean, it's ridiculous. The lines are super long, but I found a secret hack where I went to the customer service and was like, hey, these lines are really long. Can you come get these cards for me? And they went over and got them and I bought them at the customer service line. Saved me a ton of time. So that was super clutch. Now let's go see about if these $30 boxes are clutch. All right, guys, we are back from Walmart. We did manage to find some Rarity Collection 2 uh, mini boxes. What do you call these? I really don't know, but there's three nine card all foil packs per box. So we're gonna be going through if we think this is a good deal and we're gonna open them up obviously. And we're gonna be giving one of these away right now. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Do you think that these priced at, let me see, $29.92 a box are worth it? or not worth it. So we will be giving away that one. We also bought another four of them. So we have 12 packs here. It, it is a little crazy that you go in there. First of all, I already kind of mentioned, but the line at the Walmart I go to, they hide all the, the cards behind the counter, which is kind of a good thing because then there's almost always stuff there. You know, people don't just grab everything, which is great for me. I can usually find what I need to find there. The problem is when you go and there's a lot of people there, which is like literally every time because it's right next to the uh, cigarettes and the chewing tobacco and all that stuff, which is, you know, there's it's very popular. So there's a lot of people in that line waiting for that. And then of course, those same people have a giant buggy like this big full of a million different things. So I stand there for like 30 minutes waiting to buy, you know, a couple packs of cards. So that's a bummer. But you guys saw that, the customer service secret. I got to sneak behind. There was literally like 20 people in line. So it was a huge lifesaver. I would still be there probably right now if they had done that. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is a live auction platform that I stream on pretty often, selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards live to you guys. The cool part about Whatnot is I can go live. I can sell cards at auction. I can sell cards at the buy it now. And you guys can come to the live stream. And if you see something you like, you can go ahead and buy it. Another cool thing is I get a $15 free credit if you guys are a new user. So if you've never been on Whatnot before, you can click that link. You can get $15 free credit, buy anything on my on my show, anything on anybody else's show, because there's going to be a lot of shows going on during this stream on Thursday, because I'm going to be streaming for the Whatnot Card Show. The Whatnot Card Show involves tons of creators streaming different things, whether it be Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, Magic cards, shoes, all kinds of different collectibles. You guys can use your $15 free credit to buy anything on anybody's show. Oh, and guess what? I forgot to mention what we're opening. We're opening a retro pack two sealed box as well as a light of destruction first edition box and we're giving away a ghost rare first edition honest and you might be thinking ruxin how do i get in on that on that giveaway do i gotta buy something no that is going to be a completely free giveaway all you have to do is be on whatnot and have an account and you can win the giveaway and there will also be about nine other giveaways as well so if you want to win those giveaways make sure you click that link get that 15 dollars free credit this is going to be an insane show we're opening two of the most classic sets in Yu-Gi-Oh history hope to see you there but why was i talking about about that um i can't remember probably just talking about how uh i just needed to grab some of these there's only a couple of packs and they're 30 dollars each so thankfully i didn't have to wait to buy these at least but as we open these up I, look i also bought a couple of i bought a couple of legendary boosters uh whatever you want to call these legendary collection 25th anniversary boosters whatever i bought these because you know 12 packs is not exactly a lot for a video and i did not want to spend more than the 150 i'd already spent on the five boxes uh i didn't want to spend a lot more than that so i got a few of those they're a little bit cheaper they're four those were about five a piece which is not insane either and like insanely cheap but i was thinking as i was coming back after buying these i was like man 30 bucks that is insane for three packs right that just feels really bad i was thinking and also i know we're going i'm all over the place today but new angle uh, i accidentally messed up how my setup was and i ended up on this angle where it's kind of more top down and i actually really like it so i'm gonna try it out and see if it's you know let me know what you guys think it's slightly just slightly more down it's not a big deal but uh let me know what you think about the different angle when it comes to opening and the videos and stuff but i kind of like the way it works so we're gonna see how it works out We'll do one for the back, but as I was talking about the price on these things, I was thinking, I was like, you know what? Ghost Mooner, Mornlit, Mornlit, Moonlit Chill. Ghost Mooner and Mornlit Chill. Mooner, that would be, that would be bad. We have the preparation of rights. Golden Sarcophagus. Oh, Rux is special. We have the Peaceful Planet Calarium. Another thing I gotta say, guys, I know we are, we are not getting through this video, but you remember how the Calarium was our last pull in the big live stream? Go back and watch the live stream if you guys didn't see it, where we completed the entire collection of Rarity Collection 2. I might have been going through bulk and found two Calarium CRs in the bulk. 
I also found, remember our second to last card, the, uh, what is he called? The Skullmeister Platinum Rare. I might've found one of those in bulk too. So our last two pulls, we had already pulled. <laughs> So I don't even remember what our third to last one was, so that might have been our last pull. I'm not even sure. I might have found that one in bulk, too, because I found a ton of cards in bulk. Uh, Fragrance and Rindabrum. So that was a dud pack, which is a huge bummer. That's kind of going to counteract what I was going to say about ready, this ready boxes, but, you know, we'll see. We'll kind of see what we pull. Maybe I can make a, a better statement about them towards the end when we've opened a few of these. One from the back. But literally, I found tons and tons of collector rares. Those were easy to miss, I guess, because they don't shine that much, and they can, like, kind of stick to the card. So I guess I missed a bunch of CRs as we were going. Coral Dragon, there is a Prismatic Ultimate Rare, the Son of Us, the Ancient and Ascended. That looks really good at this angle. I think that this angle might be killer. I kind of like it. I'm a big fan. We might stick with this. Uh, Charge of the Light Brigade. The Ultimate Slayer. Oh, we got another one. We got Pearly Pretty Memory. That is another Prismatic Ultimate. Check that out. Beautiful. My friend Pearly and uh, ooh, the QCR Phantom Knights of Break Sword. Okay, so let's get in, back into my point that I've been trying to make this whole video before getting distracted like 12 times. Yeah, uh, what I was going to say is I was going back. I, I spent, you know, 30 bucks a piece on these boxes, basically, plus tax, so about 33, you know, in, t in Tennessee. So uh, we're looking at almost $33 for three packs, so almost 11 bucks a pack. I'm, man, that is a lot of money. And I'm thinking, dude, like, I, I've just got to complain about these. Like, that's just stupid. And then I start thinking, I'm like, okay, let's say... Let's say you, I went and I went into the store and I bought some other packs. Like I bought loose legendary collection for $5 or I bought like another set like Phantom Nightmare for $4. I'd be able to get two of the legendary collection packs for 10 and then pl plus tax would be about 11. So about the same. And I'd basically be able to get three normal packs of like Phantom Nightmare core set, whatever for a little bit more than it would cost for one pack of rarity two. And it's like, Okay, that sounds really bad. You know, three packs for one pack. Like, obviously, one's better, right? But if you're just out there looking for shiny cardboard, like, let's say you're not looking for any specific Phantom Nightmare cards or, you know, whatever recent set we've had. I can't even remember anymore. But if you're just looking for, like, nice card, shiny cardboard, and you open a one rarity collection pack, you have a chance to get, like, three, four, five crazy-looking cards, crazy hollows. And then the other bulk, you know, in here we've already gotten stuff like, you know, Charge is cool. We got Book of the... Book of the Moon, we got Forbidden Lance. I mean, just generically decent cards like Guardian Chimera, Gold Sark, you know, all that different stuff. Ghost Mourner, all art. I mean, that's all cool stuff, even if it's not high rarity. If you open something like Phantom Nightmare and you don't need any of the cards, I mean, out of, let's say we have we have our 12 packs we're opening today. If you open 12 Phantom Nightmare, you're probably getting three foils, you know, a couple C, maybe a secret, a couple ultras, something like that. And you start thinking about it that way. Well, I guess these are, they're only double the price, a little bit more than double the price, but you're going to get a lot more like nice cards so it's like is it really is it really that bad of a deal and then if you really if you really start thinking you just go buy a booster box which we have a, a, a link down below get five percent off using my code like rarity rux and five or something like that you get, use it on that discount it's 110 dollars box minus five percent plus tax so it ends up being a little bit more than 110 uh about a little bit over six dollars a pack you think about that, I mean, instead of $9.99 plus tax a pack, at six something a pack, oh, we're, that's two duds in a row, so or two out of three duds. So, but we got two out of three duds, but we got three hits. So we ended up with one big hit per pack. So at six a pack, you're like, okay, that's compared to a $4 in Walmart pack. It's not bad. I mean, that's like, that's like pretty decent. I'm gonna open up this LOB. You are, and by decent, I mean like you're getting good stuff. Like it's not like a great price or anything, obviously. Like, I mean, it would be great if they were $4, but if I'm at Walmart and I had to pick, let's say I'm at Walmart and I'm thinking, you know what I want today? I'm feeling some shiny cardboard. Do I pick Phantom Nightmare for $4 or do I pick a rarity collection pack if they ever sell them in one pack? Let's say eventually they're gonna do blisters probably. They're gonna be $9.99. Do I buy a $10 Rarity Collection blister? I think, honestly, Rux is special. I'm probably normally picking the Rarity Collection. I think sometimes there's specific times where you pick the Phantom Nightmare or the corset. Like, let's say it's like an Age of Overlord corset or something. Uh, Age of Overlord is going to be insane, obviously. So you pick that up. You just got a foil out of that uh, random pack, too. So that's pretty good. And sometimes you're going to pick that up. But if you're just, like, generically, like, feeling like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you want to feel good, like, I pulled something cool, you know? You're probably hopping on the Rarity Collection, I feel like. I don't know. I just feel like uh, the 999 people have been freaking out about, which we've known for a long time as MSRP is 999. I mean, we've known that. Uh, it, it does suck that it's so so much, but I like that there is a higher end option. You know, like uh, oh, I can buy this $10 pack, and it actually has some crazy stuff inside. Like most of the time, sometimes it doesn't. But so I kind of I kind of like that. I mean, once it get if you start putting out like $30 packs, like one pack for 30 bucks, that's just gonna be stupid. Uh, I think Magic kind of does stuff like that where they do like certain things that are really, really expensive for whatever reason. I don't remember what the versions are or anything, but Solemn Strike is really beautiful. It's another hit. 
uh, sol Silent Swordsman, a Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. And they need, should do a Solemn Swordsman. That'd be pretty cool. The Jet Dragon, obviously. I mean, if you're just a casual player, you want that Blue Eyes. So honestly, I just feel like... I don't know. I'm not, I I just feel like the uh, the rarity collection stuff, while a lot of people have been, you know, of course, complaining about the set list and everything, it does kind of do, it does pretty well, Skullmeister Collector Rare, at giving you really cool stuff, you know? I mean, this one compared to Rarity 1, there just aren't as many duds in Rarity 2. It's like, you're pulling good stuff, IP Mascarena. I mean, you're pulling Collector Rares, you're pulling rare, uh, Gold, Ultra, Prismatic Ultimate, whatever they're called, Prismatic Ultimate, that's what I'm trying to find. You're pulling good stuff basically every time, and it just feels good. I mean, whether the value is actually there if you're making your 10 bucks back, obviously you're not gonna make your money back every time, but getting those shiny cards and being like, I spent 10 bucks and I got shiny cardboard, you know, nine really cool shiny, shiny cards, it's not bad. Uh, Abyss Dweller, that's a cool one. Abyss Dweller, Prismatic, Quarter Century Seeker Rare. I always want to say Prismatic because two of them are Prismatic. It's not a Prismatic. It's just Quarter Century Seeker Rare. I always want to say Prismatic Platinum Rare. That's the one that gets me every time. All right, let's do Pharaoh's Servant. Let's open this thing up. But yeah, I was, I don't know. I'm like torn behind it. But basically, really the answer is you should always buy a, a full booster box if you're going to buy mini packs. Like if you go to Walmart and you're going to buy like as many as I just did, like I bought 15 packs. You might as well just buy the 18 pack booster box. It would have been cheaper. I spent 150 plus tax on 15 packs where a booster box is 110. So it's like you should buy the box. If you're anywhere close to 18 packs, you're going to save your money. So that is highly recommended. Of course, I have those down below. So, you know, it helps me out if you guys do that. Um, but I understand the desire of walking into Walmart. You know, you'd be like, man, man, this work's been rough. I just want to go buy some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, walk into the Walmart, grab a couple packs and just open them on your lunch break or wh whatever it is. You know, it's like, I'm just feeling like opening today. I don't want to wait for the shipment. I totally understand that. And I think that this is a good option to have on the shelves. Like, well, even though it is a bit expensive, I think that it is okay that one of our sets is higher quality and stuff. Cause I think Rarity, Rarity 1 and 2, I think are much higher quality in terms of just shiny cards and cool stuff like that. And one, you know, one set's better than the other in terms of set list, but I think this set is better in terms of like just fun of opening, which is like saying something because Rarity 1 was fun to open. Okay, IP, we have a uh, Solemn Judgment, Renbra. We have Boral and Dragon, Cosmic Cyclone, Abyss Dweller, Enemy Control. I think we're about to hit a dud. Skill Drain. After all that, I'll talk you up. You're going to give me another dud, another dud. I think we have... Is that four duds so far? We should probably keep up. Let's have a dud counter on the screen. How many packs did not have any high-end high cards? Luxury rares, as they call them. And that'll be an interesting, like, metric to, like, if it's worth it, you know? If you're getting a dud pack like every other pack, and you end up with, like, one nice pack and two duds, that's kind of a bummer out of your $30. If you get two out of three, which are good, it's like, okay, that's pretty good. You know, that, that feels pretty good. Okay, whoops. All right, Chaos Hunter, we have Soul and Luna, Pearly, the Rindabrum, Abomination's Prison, Blue Eye Spirit Dragon. Oh, a cross out designator. That's a collector rare. We're not going to miss that one. We have a Gold Sarcophagus. Ooh, and a Sardivus. Our first Platinum Secret Rare. My favorite rarity of the set. Also, I want to compare, you know, we got Nobleman and we got Cross Out. That's pretty cool to get both in the same, in the same opening. Pharaoh Servant. I didn't even really mention the Nobleman that we pulled because I was chatting, but... That's pretty cool to see Cross on Noble Mint in the same opening. And I'm not going to lie, this angle really hits the Collector Rares a lot better, I feel like, and the Ultimate Rares. So I'm kind of loving this new this new angle. I mean, you don't get to see the games as much in the background, which is the sad part. But the good side is, like, you really get to see the foiling, and that's kind of the important part of the opening, right? Yeah, all right. I know this this video, I've been all over the place. I've had a lot of thoughts that I have not been able to finish because I keep thinking of other things. Yeah, that's, that's an issue. Yeah, I know. I know that I have a problem. We have Enemy Controller, Anti-Spell Fragrance. The Garuda, when wings of the resonant life, prismatic ultimate rare. Access code talker. Super nimble mega hamster. We have mind control. And the Phantom Knights of Breakstore. All right, so we have a couple of these left, and then we have one more rarity collection. Let's do the Metal Raiders pack. Uh, of course, I had to grab a Metal Raiders pack while I was there. You know, it's Metal Raiders. We got to open it up. Can we get... The only thing is when you lay it splat like this, it gets that reflection which is kind of annoying but we'll figure it out we'll figure out this new spot one two three from the back we have the crawling dragon seven colored fish paralyzing potion protector of the throne armored zombie harpy lady jurai gumo witch of the black forest and block attack our first one not to have a foil out of the legendary packs unfortunately 
Metal Raiders, you let us down, but don't worry, LOB could pick up your slack right here. Let's go Legend of Blue Eyes. Give us something crazy. Give us that Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's been a while since we pulled that. I think it was the stream on Whatnot where we were uh, where we were trying to pull the Blue Eyes, and it took a while, but we did finally get one. Speaking of Whatnot, we are opening, I guess it's Wednesday, so tomorrow we're opening Retro Pack 2 and Light Destruction First Dead and giving away, where is it? Well, I might as well mention this while we're here before I reveal this. We're giving this away. This is a near mint copy of Honest. I bought this on TCG Player. It was actually near mint. The guy had pictures and it looked good. And I was like, oh my gosh, that thing looks actually near mint. Like this is like near mint, even near mint plus. Like it's really, really nice. And that's part of the giveaway. So make sure you go bookmark the stream on whatnot. I know it's going to be insane. I'm very excited for it. We have Dragon Treasure, Red Medicine, Dissolve Rock, Vile Germs, Silver Fang, Giant Soldier. Oh, do we get anything? No, Dark Energy. Okay, okay. All right, let's keep going. Rarity Collection 2, last box. By the way, I do have a bunch of stuff available on Ruxin34.com. The rarity stuff, I know it's taken me a while to get up my rarity stuff because I've been sorting for forever because every every card is worth money, basically, or at least a few cents. And something that I have listed on my website is full sets of the set. So I've listed a full play set set. So like all 81 cards are super rare, play sets of each. So that's 81 times three cards. So 243 cards available. So if you want all the supers from Rarity Collection 2 in a play set, then you can buy that on my website because I have sorted everything out. Well, me and my brother's been helping me out. So that's been great. Uh, but we did that for super rares, ultra rares, secret rares. I actually have not actually counted out how many we have yet. So we're going to see what the quantity is. But if you guys want those, go check out my website. Uh, it makes it a lot easier on me not selling like singles. Like I'm going to do a full set so like we can ship it all at once. Uh, it'll be a little bit easier to do that. It just took a lot of upfront work of sorting and stuff like that so if you guys are interested in full sets and like secret rare you know and stuff like that go check it out all right one two we might even do some where it's like some are play sets some are like just one of each card because some people not, might not want all in a play set okay fusion deployment let's see what this last box will do see if we get another dud hopefully not primeval planet chaos hunter Ooh, book of moon collector rare no dud here that's a beautiful card check that out we have the number 38, Silent Magician, and the Garuda. So not a dud, but we only got one hit. You know, we're looking for like three, four. That's the best ones. Two more packs. Let's see what we can get. Are we going to make our money back is the question. I'm not sure. We have Blue Eyes Alternative. We have Rescue Cat. It's going to be pretty tough. That's going to be 120 plus tax. So let's just say 120. But uh, one of them was being given away. That was the 150 because we got to give one away. But I don't think we're going to necessarily make our money back. But if we can get an Opelosa IP Mascarena here, because I think we got some shiny in the back. Oh, that's a purple card. Okay, that looks like a platinum rare. Uh, which one do we want? Guardian Chimera, maybe? Okay, Rindrum. Okay, sure. That's not bad. I'll take it. Two hits in one pack. So that's two. Wait, no, one hit. So one in the last two. One each in the last two. So neither have been duds. Let's not end on a dud here. Let's get something crazy. Let's get like a four hitter right here. Four hitter. One from the back. We have Rafflesia. Droll Lockbird. Number 38, we got Mystical Space Typhoon. Trishula Collector, that is nice. So not a dud, we'll take it. Uh, the Underworld Goddess, Skill Drain, and an Aluber QCR. That's a good way to end it. So a double hit pack, a QCR and a Collector Rare. That is super nice. So overall, these are, I mean, quite expensive at $30, but I've kind of talked about why I think maybe it's not like a horrible price, but obviously you do want to go buy at the booster boxes if you're going to buy even like three of these boxes ends up being 90, which is almost to your 110. So, so I'd much recommend like going to buy the box. And of course, Sassy Auto is selling them and I have an affiliate link. So I am the bias to say that, but it's like just numbers like you 110. Like if you're going to spend 90 on nine, 110 for 18, I mean, 20 more bucks so that is what i would recommend doing plus you can get my five percent discount code down below appreciate you guys watching and make sure you subscribe check out my website and of course whatnot tomorrow night at 5 p.m central is going to be insane hope to see you guys there shout out to tone Fo show and nestor deanda america deutscher kk beats brandon cheney ian musa junior barding robert f changalang adelso Garcia jr and edwin k thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace